yeah, I'm I'm live. So just know that if you come in here and pop me upside the head for my foolishness, that they're gonna see it. Ha 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 ha! Just joking. Hey everybody, what's up? How y'all doing? Hello everybody. Let me start off by saying, if no one's told you that they love you today, I love. Hello everybody. Hello. Oh, somebody needs to help me with my face. I can see I'm just all beat up, y'all. Oh my goodness. Some, some of you ladies need to help me with my face. So I should put makeup on me last night. I'm beginning to be really self-conscious. Uh, I'm getting, I'm getting, uh, on a side note, I'm getting clogged with uh, people's fingernails at the gym when we're wrestling and I can't get these things to go away. And every time I go, they open them back up about every time they're healing. It's my skin's getting all oily around my jaw i'm gonna have to use some essential oils i'm usually able to crack this code myself i'm usually able to figure things out with prayer and research and i cannot i look like a kid i look like a one of those when one of my children's got the hand mouth thing going on but anyway i take vitamin e i tell you you're right karen they need gloves and i don't have the courage to tell them cut your fingernails <laughs> I don't want to get beat up worse. <laughs> that, oh yes, Onisha. Jiu-Jitsu is very, very humbling. Very humbling. I'm I'm pretty decent at it. I'm pretty decent. I don't get beat up too much anymore. I used to, but it's so humbling. And uh, you know, on a side note, you see some guy that's muscled up and tatted up and you know, he just you're like, oh, I'm gonna get killed. And you handle him like he's a child and then you have some guy that, that's skinny lanky and looks like a nerd and he'll tie you up in a pretzel it's the most beautiful sport ever it's so humbling i love the jujitsu lifestyle but i am not loving looking like a you know a kid who's just going through puberty here under my my mask it's always under here always getting scratched but anyway y'all didn't y'all didn't come here to hear that but i have to have friends too I have to have somebody to talk to, too. Can y'all hear me okay? Let's make sure you can hear me okay. Got a few people saying volume's low. <laughs> Heather, this is true. This is true. But Sasha, you know, can I tell y'all something? You know, I don't know what it means about me, but when Sasha sat me down and was putting the makeup on my face, I really liked it. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell anybody <laughs> i really liked it i was like i kind of like this attention <laughs> i'm getting some attention maybe maybe i'll let her do that more because she was so happy she was so happy and i don't have any of that toxic masculinity going on so didn't bother me happy wife happy life right <laughs> why did i let her put makeup on me because i can <laughs> all right that's confidence, right? Baby, are you trying to get in? Okay. So lots to cover today. Um, lots to cover. Hey, everybody. I'll try to talk as loud as I can. It's good to have you. If you're on Facebook, please share. Uh, oh, there you are. Do you want to say hello? Hello. She just said hello. That's that. Okay. And there's the rest of it. Well, you have the rest of the label with you have that is that the complete all. label? Yeah. That's I mean, all of it? I mean, okay. it, it yeah. All right. I'll see if I can get to everything today. They said hello. Hey, everybody. All right. We'll get started. It's six minutes after, and I've rambled enough. My name's Travis. I've lost over 100 pounds on the program, come off all prescription medications. Program's changed my life. My wife and I together have lost uh, more than 150 pounds. Now, she wasn't on any prescriptions. Other than uh, before I met her, she was on depression medication. And of course, meeting me alleviates all depression. You can just imagine. So uh, she did have some extra weight that she wanted to lose, and she did. And she probably is a, a better Shibboleth member than I. Uh, she's very dedicated to the program. She's a great person to model. Uh, myself, I don't recommend really anybody model any area of my life, with the exception of how I eat. I've got that one. I've got that one. We are, I love, love living the Shibboleth lifestyle. Practical, sustainable, and fun. Everything you need will come from your local grocery store. Beautiful program. We've got three types of members here. We've got our free community members, our lifetime members, and our partners. Uh, we want to thank our lifetime members and partners. Uh, we continue to have faith. 
We continue to live by faith instead of by sight. And every day, some Shibboleth member blesses Sasha and I and gives us the strength to carry on. Travis, you're being dramatic, maybe a little, but I don't really believe that. I really believe that I'm investing my life into saving lives. And for the lives that have been saved, we bow our unworthy head and give Jesus Christ the praise for it all. And uh, we asked every member to consider doing so too once you're successful. I don't care if you ever give Shibboleth credit, but give, give our Lord and Savior Jesus credit. I know you will. Y'all are great people, humble people. So with that said, uh, real quick, and then we'll get right to our questions and answers. And I've been asked to go over bee pollen and some, excuse me, some supplementation and things like that. And, and we will get to that, Lord willing. But I need, again, to ask our members, please share. Um, now, if you share from Facebook, terrific. That's terrific. Uh, if you go to our website, that's terrific, too. And we know who shares, and you can take part in our Shibola Share Army, crypto rewards, uh, other rewards that we do. And, you know, if we can get to where we're um, not losing money, we will up the rewards. But I had rather pay you all to share, to keep it top of mind and pay you all to share what I can afford than pay Facebook. So let me show you real quick how that works. I'll try to be quicker than I was yesterday. So if you'll bear with me, all we got to do is go to the website, myshiboleth.com, myshiboleth.com. And I've already lost my shibboleth. <laughs> I said it was going to be quick, did tonight. All right, bear with me. There we go. I keep losing my windows. I've got too many up. So we go into the website. We've logged in and good things can be found in your journal. So we go to the journal and then we scroll here and we click daily share. And by going through our website, you can pick out images that you wouldn't mind putting on your profile or feel impressed to put on your profile. And by the way, we're always open hearted. If you have an idea for a type of post that you would like to share, you think it would be good. You know, I, I've never claimed to be the greatest uh, marketer or designer. If you have ideas, that'd be fantastic. But we do have to get through all the Facebook loop, uh, loopholes. So I've got some here. And, and let's say that I find one that I want to do. There's Spark. Uh, here's Amanda Hicks, who's lost 120. Why not before and after pictures? Algorithmically, before and after pictures don't get shown as much, even if you share. So we have to do it this way. Uh, there's a lot of uh, weight loss programs out there that are really just conning people. But we're starting to differentiate ourselves, and Facebook's beginning to be aware that we're the real deal. We talked about that yesterday. Thanks to y'all giving us stars on Facebook. That's lifting us up and, and showing Facebook that people do value our content, and we're not trying to trick people. But anyway, here's a, a good one. And if you don't know what to say when you share, you can copy all of this information here and paste it. And I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to copy. Or you can say something that you feel is, is genuine and authentic that you want to say. Like, for example, like my text would be, uh, if, I, if I wanted to say something myself, I've lost 100 pounds on the, on the, with the Shibboleth lifestyle, eating real foods. Program's really been a blessing to me. You need to check them out. It's a free program, free love, free care, free support. So I would post something like that. Then I go down here and I click the Facebook button icon and I got to switch for a minute and I go over to yay and then I could just copy and paste like I like I showed there and or I could write what I wanted to write that was personal. Then I click public to get it to count in our system, you have to click public and then I would just post it. So now that shows up on my Facebook profile called Travis Whitebell. And then the next day, the people that shared from the website show up, go back to your journal and you go to all stars and you get to see who's losing weight. You got people there. I like to call it modeling that you can model and you can shoot for, you don't want to compare yourself to other people. They, they could be uh, taller, shorter, uh, older, younger, 
You don't compare. Comparison is the thief of joy. But by shooting for some of the, the achievements of your peers, uh, you, you'll do even better. So here, let's go to yesterday because we're looking at yesterday's shares for today's reward. And I see body weight loss, Chuck lost, goodness gracious, 6.8 pounds from his last weigh-in. Uh, we don't know if that's a day or two days or three, but anyway, he's killing it. Percentage of body weight loss is even more important than weight loss. Uh, this is more important. Beautiful thing there. Attendance, we know who's attending class. We've got Brenda uh, has attended four classes recently, Deborah two, Beth two. Uh, the more you see your name popping up here, and you, and you can open this up and show a lot more. There's a lot more. Uh, PB Health, I happen to know is Patricia Hurt, two classes this week, great job. Your walk miles and steps, every time you take a step, while you're in efficient fat burning mode, you're burning 4% of one calorie. That adds up real quick, and that's coming from your stored body fat. And then I go down, and I've got exercise reps. Karen Klein, look at you. You come out of the gate swinging yesterday. 200 repetitions? Goodness gracious, that's awesome. And, and T. Griff, 190, Bulldog, 180. No, but 30,000 people. 30,000 plus people in our website, and we only had three people exercise. It, I didn't yesterday, other than jujitsu. So, anyway, let's go down. Most shares, uh, we got the shares got a little better. Good, good. We had more shares yesterday. So, this is helping. So, you've got uh, Den Pat all the way down to Ann. So we've got some some really good good ones now. I have to tell you that our first drawing, because the more you share, the more times your name goes in the drawing, and it starts building up too. Because everybody's going to be a winner eventually. Plus, we buy crypto for the group, and uh, we'll we'll hope one day that the crypto investment turns out. Who knows? It's it's my risk, not yours. But your percentage of the investment, which we went over months ago, your percentage of the investment uh, will, will be based upon how many times you shared, uh, if it ever matures and turns into anything. Uh, but here, we've got my mama. I drew my mama's name. Now, if my mama wants a t-shirt, I'll send it to her. But She's probably going to say, Travis, I don't, don't do that. I don't want. So we drew again. We actually drew again. You know whose name come up the next time? Maverick. That's me. <laughs> so my mom and me, I, I just must be blessed and highly favored. So we did it again. Today's winner is Jeep Girl. Jeep Girl, you're the winner of an amazing Shibola T-shirt that we'll be sending your way. Joni or Tammy, if uh, I didn't check to see which one of you or, or if both of you are here, but I'm sure you are, somebody is. We need to reach out to Jeep Girl and uh, get her size and send her a shirt with a little note that thanks her for being part of our Shibola Share Army. And we would ask everybody that has a heart to do so to share, share, share. We need you. We love you. We want you to love us back. And I'm sorry if this portion of our class gets on your nerves, uh, but I actually do it for young because I need a great support team to do what we do. Love, connection, and support is more powerful than even the powerful information that we teach. So thank you all for your patience. Now, we're going to get into our session today, Q&A time, question and answer. If you're new here, please make sure that you watch the fast track videos, take the test, pass the test, and earn the fast track badge. That way, when I answer questions, especially related to physiology and, and how food affects the body and insulin control and food combinations, you'll begin to understand enough that, that those the answers that I give help you too. Uh, but sometimes it gets pretty intermediate to advanced in here. And that might scare you off if you're new. But after you watch those fast track videos and earn your fast track badge, it doesn't take long to do that. Uh, these sessions, you can really utilize me to help personalize your situation. So we'll get right into it. I will save uh, the supplement request. People ask him, Travis, go over B pollen and amino acids. I will do that if we have enough time. 
but I want to go through the Q&A first. Are there any questions for me today? Food, nutrition, behavior modification, you name it. Uh, if I don't know the answer, I will get you an answer. All right, let me look. start looking here. Everybody can hear me, right? Okay. Ah, thank you, Lisa. I enjoyed it. I enjoy. I don't know what that says about my heart. Maybe I have a little bit of a feminine heart. I don't know. But I, it took me back to when my mama would uh, would put she 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 put girl clothes on me one time when I was a kid, and uh, I just I love the attention. Don't hey now don't get this twisted. We're not going that way. I'm just saying uh, I'm confident enough to tell you that wow I really enjoy getting Sasha's attention because she's been so busy lately. I had, had much of her attention. Y'all know how us husbands whine. And uh, I got some attention. So whatever it takes. <laughs> uh, I'm scrolling. Sorry for the awkward silence trying to answer questions. Lymphatic massage of the face. I uh, haven't thought about that. I haven't thought about that. I, I will look into that because I'm big on, on uh, moving lymph, <laughs> moving, moving toxins through the lymphatic system. Uh, by the way, a rebounder is excellent for that. A vibrational plate is excellent for that. Missy, hello, Missy. Good morning. Can ghee butter be used on a potato in the right combination? Yes. Could low-fat sour cream also be used as a condiment? Yes. I also want information on the happy juice. Um, Tammy, let's see if y'all are here. I don't want to take it for granted. I need to do a better job of keeping up with the schedule, but I just, I trust my team. Tammy's here. Is Joni here? Faithful Joni. Joni and Tammy are the best. How did I get so lucky? Joni's not here. Tammy's here. Tammy, Missy, can you get Missy, uh, Missy LaVorn, can you get her happy juice information, safety video, safety first, safety video, and the password. Hey, Joanne. So this is a different place than the challenge. Kim, are you referring to the share feature or something else? Let, let me know because I'm not real certain about the question. And by the way, thank you for being, you probably get mad at me when I call you out, but thank you for being one of our great partners. Uh, can't tell you how many tears Sasha and I have shed looking at looking at the books and then somebody like you comes along and helps us and believes in this little mission and looks over my faults. Thank you so much, Kim. Joni's in a mentor appointment. I knew she was working on something. All right. Fast track. Yeah. Do hey Karen Klein. Doing detox with supplements. Can I do pentos and three ounces of pork tenderloin? Doing the detox with supplements. That's I don't think that that's on the list but pork tenderloin is like the new chicken and and that is on the list i can't remember on top of my top of conscious uh pintos was on the list so yes if you will portion control your pork tenderloin and pintos on this plate three ounces of pork loin loin and your pintos on, on this side uh we'll be fine there we'll be fine one time a day uh then the other parts, now that's pretty good at boosting the metabolism. If you do that kind of food too much during the detox, we won't get the rest, recovery, and reset we're looking for. So, you know, use your pre-digested food ideas uh, one to two times a day and, and do that. Just keep your portions tight. You'll be fine. Uh, Kim, need, Kim Arnold, Tammy, if you... Uh, would reach out to Kim Arnold. She can't get her Fitbit synced. That would probably take me about 10 minutes to go through here and not everybody's having that issue. So if you are someone, Joni knows how to do it. If you want to get with Joni and probably would help you learn, learn that too, it's pretty easy to do that. You just have to turn it on in our website and turn it on in the Fitbit website and get them to talking uh, and then they'll sync up. And that's Kim Arnold. When will days 11 through 24 food options be available? Uh, soon. Um, it all, it's, it's been given to the team. And now it, it just depends on how quick they can get it in, you know, where the challenge ideas are so far. You'll see a tab before Monday. You'll see a tab that opens up and says days 11 through 24. Missy LaVorn, here's the link to the Gee Butter. Cool. Good job. The stats, okay, you find the statistics 
uh, in the journal. Let me show you that again. So if you ever get lost on this website, now Sasha's working on a great site map, but if you get lost, you're going to find about everything either in the journal or resources. So here we go to the journal and then we go down. It says all stars. Who are our Shibboleth all stars? And it shows yesterday's self-reported result, last seven days, last month, all time. So if I do a week, I can see in one week. How about this, y'all? Big round of applause for Sandy Gregg down 15 pounds in a week. Terry Glover down 15 pounds. But I like this chart over here too. Look at Angela Chai down 12.9 pounds, Cheryl eight pounds, big time. Kim Danky, who y'all know is really lean, down 5.5. Isn't that great, y'all? And then over here, look, percentage of body weight loss. This is the this is the one you want to key in on because uh, it takes into consideration how much a person has to lose, how much weight a person has to lose. So this is a good chart right here. And I can click on these folks and they may or may not want to befriend you. But here you'll go to their profile if you click on it and you can send a battle buddy request. You can friend them. You can follow their journey. Oh, that's our friend uh, Cheryl Bannister. So great person to have on your side. And uh, you can see her history in the community, the badges that she's earned. I really love this new feature that we have here. You, if she has public photos, you can check her photos out. Uh, there's just tons of fun stuff to do here uh, in the community and get to know people. We're going to need a lot of love, care, support, and connection if we're going to be successful. Hope that answered that question. Thank you, Jettabug. Appreciate that. Can I actually share to my Facebook friends these classes? You, you certainly can. Um, so the thing to do to share those, uh, would, uh, I have an idea though, that you just gave me, I'll have to talk to the team to see if it's possible before I mention it. I don't know if we can put this class in the, uh, wait, the, the way to do it. We just don't have it in our website yet. You could go to facebook.com forward slash Travis Martin, seven, seven, seven. I do these publicly. First class is always free. And then I remove them after 30 days. So the only way to share right now would be to go to www.facebook.com forward slash Travis Martin 777. Uh, and on Facebook right now, you, you could share to your profile. But you gave me a great idea. I could start putting these videos, I think, in the website share, the, the really good ones. Uh, but people probably wouldn't watch them because I'm so long winded. I need to do a lot of short videos. What do you do if you forget to take the PM pills for the detox? Quit forgetting. <laughs> Set your alarm so that it goes off your smartphone alarm. And uh, just, you know, that way you, you're just not in the habit of doing it. But I don't want you to double up. Don't, don't do like you don't normally do two at night, two tablets. Don't do four. Just keep that, and then after day 10, go on and do that on day 11, day 12, with whatever you have left over. But consistency will help you, Miss Dawn. Wow, Vicky driving over to Linda Dietz's house, uh, who has lost 45 pounds on Shibola to help getting started. We're in Wichita, Kansas. I've always wanted to go to Kansas. That's the kind of people you have. I met her on accountability class. We're blessed and highly favored, aren't we all? Aren't we all? We are blessed and highly favored. Wow. You know, that's, to, I, and I'm serious. I'm not, I'm not just saying that because you said that. Sometimes I just like to meditate. You know, if God be for us, who can be again? You know, what a beautiful group of people helping one another. And what better thing could we help a brother or sister with than to save their life? Great job. <clears throat> hey, Sandra, Chris just made some venison sausage. Mm, can it be a category one? Without talking to Chris, I don't know. Uh, I would suspect that it's probably going to be a category four. If he added, if the uh, butcher added any fat to it, you need to count it as a category four, which means you can have it. You just can't have those category threes or fives with it and should limit category sixes to a condiment's worth. Uh, but uh, be, don't count it as a one unless we're certain that it's ultra, ultra lean and sausage, venison sausage is usually not lean enough to be a category one. They have to add something in there, some extra fat 
uh, to, to, turn, to make it uh, sausage. Working on my Shibboleth Master badge. We don't have many Shibboleth Masters. Y'all ain't going to believe. I know. I know. I just brag and brag. Y'all ain't going to believe what we got in store 2023. Y'all are going to love it. You think the Shibboleth Master is fun to try to achieve? Wait till you see that. You know, I'll just give you a hint. I'll give you a little hint. I've been into martial arts since I uh, since 2016, and I love the Brazilian jiu-jitsu uh, system of uh, their, their levels and their belts and their stripes. We're not going to be doing belts, but I've got a beautiful report card coming where I'm going to counsel and work with people uh, on what criteria needs to be in their report card. And then we've got a new system that's going to keep our folks that love to achieve on your toes. I'm really excited about 2023. When it says complete 36 Shibboleth meal plans, what does that mean? It should say, I probably need to rewrite that or have somebody, because usually other people are writing it for me. I've either recorded it and they're trying to write it, and usually there's some missed stuff in translation. Uh, but we're talking about WOW Challenge. So throughout a calendar year, you have to do at least 36 WOW challenges before you accomplish the Shibboleth Master Badge. How do you mix the fiber so it's not so thick? Just add more approved liquid. That's, that's the solution. Uh, and then you'll still have some residue in the bottom. And then I just add more liquid and stir it up because I'm not adding anything that's not an approved liquid. So that that is your only solution. Uh, Jelena, I'm running a little bit behind, but I'm going to be playing a lot of catch up now that the work week's almost behind me and I won't have as many. I've been uh, I've probably answered at least 3000 questions this week. Uh, so I am running behind. And uh, we don't have as many people on the team as we used to to delegate to. So I'm running behind. But the weekend, Lord willing, I feel like I'll be able to get caught up and get everybody the Tiger lockdown information that they're needing because I have to do orientations for them. I, I think, ty and you know, if you can't be there when I do it, because it'll be, hey, I got an hour, let me do it, uh, then I record it. So we got Tiger lockdown, as promised, coming. We've got the walking challenge as promised coming, and we got days 11 through days 24 of this challenge coming. So I have my wagon loaded, and I feel like I'll be able to make up some ground this evening, Saturday, and Sunday. I'll be working through the weekend to try to uh, get everything everybody's wanting. Is the LOD a one-time achievement you can earn? It is. It's a badge that you earn. Uh, by consistently journaling. How long does a wow challenge last? It's a one day challenge. See, I've I've done it again. I've done it all. I've done it all. That's reasonable, meaning some people perform better with a with no challenge. We've got the Shibboleth lifestyle. Some people respond better to a 12 week challenge. We we've done those. Some people respond better to a 24 day challenge. We've done we do those. Some people one week. Some people three days. Some people can't get hardly through one day. So we have one day discipline challenges. And so a wow challenge is always one day. You just got to commit to doing what you agreed to do within your own heart before the Lord one day. And you get your wow badge. Uh, and the more times you do that, the more numbers rack up. And if you look at some of our most successful members, and you think, how do they have that discipline? A lot of them engage with those wow challenges, uh, like um, uh, Pinky. Some of y'all know Pinky. Pinky's got like, I think it may be like 700 wow challenges that she's completed now. And people wonder, how is she so disciplined? She has installed discipline on her hard drive. And it's amazing to see. So it works. They're quirky. They're weird. They're meant to be a challenge. Uh, it's not about lifestyle when it comes to a wow challenge. It's about deciding before the day in question to eat unto the Lord and not waver on the selections that you've pre-chosen. And uh, if you do enough of that, you start believing in yourself. I pulled that from when I went through wellness certification. They didn't tell me to do that. I have a weird way of think thinking about things. And I thought, you know what would work? Uh, and they, they was like, oh, that's a good idea. I said, I think what, what would work 
is giving them something that's kind of uh, off the tracks a little bit, but still would work physiologically. Something that I know during the middle of the day they may regret doing, but they got to finish it anyway. And then I can entice them to do it with things like ice cream or whatever that's approved. So it kind of come from that kind of idea, war on weakness. Wow means war on weakness. I'm declaring war on my own weakness for one day because that's all the Bible says we have. Uh, and so, yeah, it's a beautiful thing to install self-discipline. Can a wow challenge during this wonderful challenge, if you do one that's labeled detox, you can do it. We didn't start out that way, but I've given in. I'm a softie. We need Jack, don't we? Uh, yeah, so there's some that are labeled specifically detox. You can do those. I would stay away from the ones that we did the last detox. People would ask for fast food options, which is hard on a detox. And I come up with a couple of them to help the, to, to help it be more doable. I'd stay away from those. But the ones that have a lot of plant-based foods uh, for the purpose of our detox and they're labeled detox, um, those would be fine. Otherwise, we have to wait until day 11. Right now, we're in the rest recovery reset period. And on day 11, we go to the metabolic boost period. Then all of the wow challenges will be acceptable. Uh, I expected to have more bathroom breaks doing the cleanse. And we go over that too. That would be a normal and reasonable uh, understanding uh, when you say the word detox, but not necessarily. That's not what we're trying to accomplish necessarily. What we're trying to accomplish, there's other things we can do, and I'm going to go over that. There's other things that we can do to get regular. But what the insoluble fiber is doing, along with the herbal tablets, is it's settling in. Uh, if you look at it like it's a sniper, it's settling in on some long-standing undigested matter that's in your digestive system that, that we want to see it begin to loosen up and work itself out. You may not even be aware of it. And I hate you said TMI, Kimberly. I'm going to be TMI. Uh, and y'all forgive me. Close your ears, those of you that are easily offended. So when we see in our bowel movement, tiny pebbles of poo that are kind of shaped like this, like a J, tiny pebbles of poo shaped like a J that are darker than our normal stool, that's a good sign the cleanse is beginning to work. You may have to go through another ramp uh, if you've not been through a cleanse uh, recently, but we're looking for them little pebbles. A lot of people's like, they want these big releases. You know, they want to sit on the throne and have a glory hallelujah moment, right? But that's not necessarily what my cleanse is about. My cleanse is about rest, recovery, reset, letting your body heal a little bit because food is very taxing on the body from an energy standpoint. So we're letting the body rest a little while so that regular Shibboleth starts working again for us. So that's one thing to look for, the, the J-Poo, the little bitty J-Poo pebbles, J-Poo pebbles. Everybody say J-Poo pebbles. Uh, and then also... Any uh, thing that you excrete that looks like an off kind of a yellowish uh, toilet tissue, it looks like little tissue, pieces of tissue, that's candida. So if we start seeing that, uh, then then we're making some, some good progress. Nice. Tammy says only four days in on the detox with supplements and joint pain is almost gone. Such a good thing to hear. Bless the name of the Lord. Let me check over here on Facebook, see anything I've missed. Let me check my private, got two private. What are the best meals for the detox? Let me skip to the next question because that one's going to take a while. Can a wow be done during this? I did answer that one. So we can go back to the best meals for the detox. Any of the breakfast, lunch, or dinner ideas I put on the list are, I, are, are fine. Uh, but for me, for a detox, here's what I'm looking for. First eating episode, example, something with protein so I don't muscle waste. Uh, Health-wise, hot chocolate, high protein. It's very easy on digestion. Uh, with if Write these down. If y'all are looking for optimal, I give you probably 100 options, but let, let, let's look at optimal. So what would I, what would Travis do? So morning time, health-wise, high protein, hot chocolate, because it's just for 10 days. 
maybe or maybe not mixed with some cocoa ringa. That would work. Then for lunch, um, maybe a one third of a homemade hemp bar. Uh, hemp. The more hemp and hemp flakes you'll work in and still stay under your ideal calorie range, the better off your detox will be. Hemp hearts and hemp flakes have regenerative power. So they're amazing. Probably the most superior plant-based food that we can ingest on the planet Earth. Uh, so uh, let's go back. Health-wise hot chocolate, cocoa ringa mixed together maybe. Uh, for lunch, one third of a hemp bar. And then for dinner, if you want to really do it right, maybe a salad, leafy greens, cucumbers, cauliflower, three tablespoons of hemp hearts, approved salad dressing. That would be an optimal day for a detox along with your supplementation. Give me another example, Travis. So maybe in the morning, again, we're going to keep it really light. Maybe I have my AdvoCare meal replacement shake uh, for my first eating episode if I need one. And then for my second eating episode, maybe two packages of health-wise high-protein chicken noodle soup, pre-digested, easy on digestion. And then for dinner, I can crank it up just a little bit, have me uh, two to four ounces maybe of uh, some, some grilled chicken along with some green beans and some rice cauliflower. So those are examples of two optimal days, two eating episodes that are easy on digestion and one episode to kind of keep us a little, little bit metabolically boosted. Let me know if that made sense. Heather, I've been doing blueberries and egg whites for breakfast. This morning I cooked my blueberries in with my egg whites and added cinnamon and vanilla. It was amazing. I've never done that. Sounds interesting. It definitely sounds like something I would do. And for those of you that are new and thinking that doesn't work, that's what we call a perfect pairing. We have a class that we teach once a year on perfect pairings. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll tackle that again in the future so you can figure out too how to have perfect pairings if you're new here. I've had a headache for two days now. This is JC. JC. Do you think it's from calorie deficit or toxins releasing? Should I tough it out? You should tough it out unless you're really feeling poorly. Uh, if you're having something that is um, similar to a caffeine headache or caffeine withdrawals, you know, caffeine, uh, our, our blood vessels in our head, they constrict. And then when we come off caffeine two or three days in, the blood vessels open up, you get a terrible headache. Many of us do when we try to abstain from caffeine for a few days, which is good to do. So if you're having something like that, because I, I can't assess your pain level. Uh, if this is significant pain, you need to go to your doc. But when you start a new program uh, and you are used to eating, uh, hidden sugar starts are not hidden. But a lot of people say, I don't eat that much sugar and starts. And then I look at their diet and they were just they were eating tons of sugar and starch. Your body becomes addicted to that. It is it's so easy. It's a simple fuel. Simple carbohydrate is simple fuel. The body doesn't have to work to really utilize it. And it's easily converted to fat. It jacks up your blood sugar, jacks up your insulin levels. You're storing fat. Now you've said, no, no, I'm not doing that as much right now. I'm going to eat cleaner. So you go into withdrawals. This is common knowledge. Uh, I don't believe in us Googling and getting scared and terrified over every good Google scares me to death. But here's one thing that Google's right on. If you'll Google sugar and starch withdrawals, I bet you find your symptoms. So what do we do to fix that? We have to be consistent. This is why I don't preach diet. The first three letters of the word diet are die. Anything we start with and can't stick with forever is a waste of our time. I'm going to give y'all, I'm going to say something hard here in a minute. Okay. But first, before I say something hard, that's tough. I want to say that a lifestyle is those of you that consider yourself Christian, you know that you're not perfect, but it's a lifestyle. It's your lifestyle. You're not a Christian today. If you're a good Christian, you're not a Christian. Uh, let me give you an example. You're not a Christian who somebody does wrong and you refuse to forgive them. It's your lifestyle to work it out internally and forgive. You have a lifestyle. You have a, you have a lifestyle. You have a lifestyle whereby if somebody is in need and it's within your ability to help them, you help them because it's, 
is part of your lifestyle. You do it. Brushing your teeth is a part of your lifestyle. You do it whether you feel like doing it or not. Shibboleth to work has to be a lifestyle. You have to do it daily. Even holidays are part of the Shibboleth lifestyle, but we have a line in the sand number. Six holidays when we're trying to lose weight per month, 12 when we're in maintenance. But it's your lifestyle. You cannot renegotiate your plan daily. You have to make a decision. It's like a marriage. Okay. So if I have, if Sasha and I have a rough, we, we're very, very transparent. Uh, we, we had about three weeks before we went to that business trip. Uh, it was business and pleasure, but uh, AdvoCare was really good to us. And a few weeks before that, we were at odds, but we stayed married. And then we went to Hawaii and it's like, man, we, we don't have no problems. We love each other. This is awesome. And then we come back and faced with the same situations, we got at odds with one another. But we're married. I'm not going anywhere. And I hope she doesn't go anywhere. You have good days and bad. And I know the feeling's going to come back where we're romantic and in love again because it comes and goes. Right, everybody? All you married folks know what I mean? I know that you do. Until you view something that I think is probably the most important part of your life, until you view your eating lifestyle, how many of us, and I know I'm going on too long about this. This is for everybody. How long, or excuse me, How think about your mate right now. You think about them a lot if you love them, whether you're angry or happy with them, whatever. But I'll bet you if you stop and you really think about it and do soul searching, I'll bet that you think about food more than you think about your significant other. I'm willing to make that bet. And if I made it with every one of you, I might lose with one or two, but overall, I'd make money off that bet. Because all of us, we get up thinking about what we're going to eat. It's become a compulsion, a compulsive behavior. We think about it before we eat it, and then we think about it after, and then we think about the next meal, and then we think about lunch. And when we can't have it, we're still thinking about it. When we do have it, we're thinking about it, and we think about it all day. And the problem is you're utilizing food incorrectly and you're not investing the time to educate and, and rewire and remap your brain and how you think about food. This is serious stuff. Food has the ability to kill you when improperly used. You die a death of a thousand cuts when you're eating sugar and starch and, and trans fats on a consistent basis. Our bodies can handle it a little bit, but it can't handle it a little bit every day, okay? So I said all that to say, how do we get rid of these withdrawal symptoms? Once and for all, you stay consistent and true to the lifestyle that in your, your, your childlike heart and brain that you said, I'm marrying the lifestyle. I'm not dating it anymore. I do it on the days I want to do it. And I do it on the days I don't want to do it. Some days I can't stand it. Some days I love it, but I do it anyway because I haven't found anything that's going to help me any better, anything any more practical, sustainable, or fun. So I got to do it. And then with consistency, you go critical. You go from a carbohydrate-dependent metabolism, sugar-dependent metabolism for your energy, to a fat adapted metabolism. That's why we have that calendar for you to see, hey, I'm being consistent. And your body is forced to evolve and switch gears. And then all of a sudden those withdrawals are gone. They're not pronounced anymore. It's consistency. The hard thing that I was gonna say before I leave this topic, can I have permission to wound you? The Bible says the wounds of a friend are faith, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. Can I be your friend and wound you a little bit? I need two people to give me permission or I'm going to move on. I got one. I got two. Some of you need to quit Shibola. Some, some of you, if you're more than 30 pounds overweight, you need to quit, but you're not committed. You yo-yo diet. You need to quit and you need to quit today. And you do not need to go and prescribe to any other diet, none. If you have a history of losing 30 pounds or more, if you have a history of losing 30 pounds or more and gaining 30 pounds or more back over and over and over again, you need to stop trying to lose weight and then go 
work on your cardiovascular fitness in a, in a large uh, body with a large body mass. Go ahead and build up cardiovascular strength and muscular strength and endurance and just enjoy your food and be big. And I mean that. That's not being mean. If you keep losing 30, gaining 30, losing 30, gaining 30, because you won't do it as a lifestyle, you've become a professional dieter and you can drop it fast. But as soon as the weight loss slows, you quit and you go back to your old eating behaviors, you are doing irreparable harm to your heart muscle. Did y'all hear that? This will save somebody's life today and I'll probably never see you again, but I, it'll be saving your life. I'm not being Jack. I'm not being me. Here's what happens if you continue this vicious cycle. You've, if you've done that, say, more than six times in the last three years, four years, when you're losing weight, you're losing fat, and you're losing muscle. With On our program, you're losing more. If you're doing it right, you're losing more fat than you are muscle, which is good. But you still will lose some muscle. Your heart is a muscle. Now, it works out great because as your body weight is going down, your heart isn't having to work as hard, but it's losing some strength. Then when we get to our ideal weight, we can, start, we can keep our weight down and then start rebuilding our heart muscle, okay? But what, here's what happens to people. Make sure that you get this. Make sure that you get this. Nobody else is telling you this. So here's your, let's do it this way. Oops, I can't get my hands right. I'm going to look at my hands, not the screen. So you, let's say that you start the program and your heart is here uh, and your weight, loss, your weight loss is here. Heart, weight loss. Now what happens is you're, you're beginning to lose the weight, right? You're losing the weight. Your heart doesn't have to work as hard but it's losing some strength, okay? And boom, you get the weight off and it's okay because your heart, even though it lost some strength, it can be rebuilt and now you've got the weight off and you can be healthier than ever. But what do people do? The heart, the damage has been done. Then they go back to eating wrong and guess what happens? The heart isn't getting stronger, but their weight's going back up. And now their heart's got reduced strength and capacity and endurance and it's having to pump blood to, to a larger body again. And this cycle goes on and on and on. It has to stop. If you don't have the discipline and you don't do the work to remap how you think, you're a ticking time bomb. I hope that made sense. If you have questions about it, I'm happy to answer. So what we need is to decide do and it's done. I'm losing the weight. And then when I get to my ideal weight, I'm going to go back. I'm going to start working on my cardiovascular system and I'm going to be healthier and better and stronger than ever. And I'm never putting all that weight on again. If you don't, you're a dead person walk. Now, I know who's in charge. I'm talking statistics. I'm talking statistics. OK, statistically speaking, hope that helps. Breaks my heart to give you that news, but nothing I've said is more true than what I just said. 100% think about food more than my hubby, and most conversations with hungry are, what do you want for dinner? Isn't that the truth? You know, find things to do with your mate other than just eat. Like Sasha and I have taken up pickleball. Uh, we bought us a massage table. We can't afford to go to those massage people. But we, we, if we perform well with our nutrition and our exercise, we reward one another with a massage. When I hit goals, we got an $80 massage table four or five years ago off Amazon. It's been the best investment ever. Uh, and when I hit certain goals, she'll give me a massage. When she hits certain goals, I give her a massage. We look for other pleasures in life together rather than just food. Been there, done that. That would be like having the opportunity to travel to many beautiful destinations, but you always go to the Redneck Riviera, Panama City. That's beautiful. We all love it if we like Florida, if we like the beach. We love it. But don't you want to branch out a little bit and see some more of the world while you're here? Same thing with food. There's more pleasures than food. It's easy. It might take uh, us to uh, get rid of our intellectual laziness to think about other things we can do together other than eat but it's out there you can find it it can't all be about food and in, in fact if it is all about food all the time 
you're not even enjoying the foods you eat anymore. You just do it's killing you and you're just doing it out of compulsion. Yeah, and just to clarify, the Bible says, I wish thou were cold or hot, but thou were lukewarm, therefore I spew thee out of my mouth. I'm not saying that you won't have relapse. I'm not saying that. It's always best to lose the weight, but eventually there has to be that final time. Do y'all know what I mean? Eventually you have to look. I've relapsed several times. I'm going to fix it this time. This is it. I may not want to do it, but I'm a prisoner of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is going to help me through this. I won't discipline myself, so I'm going to let Jesus discipline me. I'm going to turn to the scripture and read all the uh, beautiful words about how gluttony is killing me, and I'm going to stop that. I'm going to remap my brain. I'm going to work on my vision for my life statement. I'm going to work on my vision board. I'm going to read it morning, noon, and night. I will override the compulsive behaviors that I've mapped in my brain. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you. Hey, Heather. Heather says, I've done this over and over. I've, I've never been super obese, but I have the mindset to stay with this lifestyle. All other things I've used to lose weight is not able to continue with. And, and be careful to hey, comparison is the thief of joy. It'll also cause you to think you're okay when you're not okay. It's going to get worse. A lot of our people compare themselves to others. You have to, re and you go, I'm, I'm not that bad. They're a lot heavier than me. That happens a lot. I hear that a lot. That hurts my heart too. First of all, it's about you and your potential. It's about you living up to your potential. That's your gift to God is to, to maximize your potential to work on yourself harder than you work on anything else so you can be the light that God intended you to be to lost in a, a dying world that's hurting. And when people say that, well, I'm doing pretty good compared to so-and-so, and they use that as an excuse not, you don't realize that the standards in this country are changing to a point where being extremely obese is considered healthy now. Back when I was undergoing my little bit of education, Anything more than 30 pounds and under 100 pounds of excess fat was considered obese. Now, if you're 50 pounds overweight, you don't even really think you've got that big of a problem. And being over 100 pounds uh, is considered morbid obesity. Now, they're going to change that. You'll start hearing things like, well, you're not really overweight until you're 100 pounds. Don't buy into this kind of stuff. Let's do the best we can do, okay? There's only one that we should be comparing ourselves to, and I'm not talking about our body. That's Christ. And I'm not saying you compare your, your larger body to his lean body. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, goodness, meekness, temperance, and faith. Those are the fruit of the Spirit. And nobody anywhere can tell me that they're better off being in an unhealthy temple when it comes to the fruit of the Spirit. Kristen, because I finally know the right way to do it is truly a lifestyle. Amen. Yes, Paula, permanent change. But relapse is part of recovery. I know somebody that was just what they need to hear today to quit. I'm not trying to get you to quit. I'm trying to save your life. Hey, Betty, Vicki, my cholesterol. Now, you, again, this may be worth noting too. I have a line in the sand number. Uh, I have my ideal weight. And if I get more than 10 pounds over that, which is not a big strain on my heart, then I'm knocking it off fast. I treat that 10 pounds like it's 100. And I go to the strictest version of Shibola. That's not relapse. You're going to have those fluctuations, just to be clear. Vicky says, my cholesterol is so high from my addiction right now. Uh, volunteering is good. It is. That's a good way to keep your mind busy, busy as a bee. Uh, that's the best appetite control, staying busy as a bee and cheerful as a cricket, steady as a clock. My cholesterol is so high. Let's get rid of that sugar and starch and trans fats and exercise. And that you, you'll, you'll make a lot of headway. Nicole, is it possible to build up the heart while losing weight? No, no, it is. I, I definitely recommend that. A lot of people, you know, it's just too much for them at one time to try it all. And eating's the most important. Uh, but I wish that when I had started uh, my weight loss journey that I had been exercising. I wish that I had been using a rower. I wish that I had, that's my favorite, uh, a rower. I wish I had been getting on the treadmill. I wish I had been getting my steps in. So yeah, if you can go on and start a walking regimen, brisk walking where you get your heart rate up to the target heart rate zone for 30 minutes to an hour a day, 
that's going to be fantastic. So much better off when you do that. Oh, nice. Got a horse. I have ridden him a few times, but part of my wine was losing weight so I can ride the horse. Awesome. Creative. Paula's taking up waterfall hiking with the husband. And by the way, I, I definitely recommend for, for you all uh, pickleball. Pickleball. If you've got a mate or a friend, pickleball is an easy, fun way to get to get your steps in, get your heart rate up, and it's a lot of fun. Sorry to hear about that, Sheila. Prayers for your son in love. Uh, so sorry to hear that. I, I hope that he rebounds and recovers recovers uh, well. You know, something's going to happen. I, I ain't no telling how much damage I've done, y'all. Somebody, somebody years ago, they was heckling me, and they said, well, when you drop dead of a heart attack, heart attack, how are you going to feel then about your lifestyle? And I said, I won't be thinking nothing, buddy. I'll be in heaven. <laughs> so I won't be worried about it. I'd be up to everybody else to talk about. Well, the Thrive guy, I was Thrive back then. Thrive guy, it didn't work for him too good. Listen, I've done terrible harm to the inside of my body. I hope I've reversed a lot of it. But you know what the program has done for me? The programs give me a better quality of life, a happier life, because I lost the weight. Glad to hear that, Judy. Let us support you and help you. The other bad comparison, I'm not doing it as well as or as fast as this person, so I give up. I hear it every day, Rebecca. I used to beg them. I don't anymore. Because I know in their own heart, they know better. They're just looking for a reason to give up. Uh, it breaks my heart to hear such things. The only person, Lisa, that I'm comparing me to is the me of yesterday. That's the only person. If I compare myself to some of you, I know some of you personally. If I compare myself to, to some of you, I just feel like a failure and quit. Y'all are so far, so much better people than me. But if I compare myself to myself of 10 years ago, I'm a better person today as I can. I'm no better in Jesus. I'm so far from Jesus's glory uh, that it don't matter how close you get. You, your, your righteousness is as filthy rags. My righteousness is as filthy rags. Ain't no getting any better. I'm just glad my life is hid in Christ Jesus's and I've accepted grace. But I still want to work on myself and become a better person so that I can do more with my time here. That's the only person you need to compare yourself to. Tammy says, Chris and I don't go out to eat much, maybe one time every six months. And when we went out in October, everyone in the restaurant was very obese and eating bad food. It does. Once, you, once you've been, your eyes have been open. It is heartbreaking at the grocery store and the restaurants to see. Heather says, what has hurt me is people telling me I look sick when I get where I'm supposed to be. And then I pick back up eating again. They've told me this uh, and it, they've told me this, whatever this is to consume me, but we are always going to allow something to consume us, either eating healthy or unhealthy. This time I'm choosing continue on health. So I, you may never heard me, Heather, but I've said this many times. When I was over 300 pounds on multiple prescription medication, depression medication, thinking that my, I'd be better off if I weren't here, smiling in the church and going home and hating myself, hating myself, sick, sick. No one ever told me I looked sick. Size 44 pant, um, over 300. Nobody ever said, Travis, you need to do something. You're sick. My father eventually did only because he got tired of me talking about it. But then I lost weight. I got down to 240. I was 198 this morning. I got down to 240 and people said, you look sick. And I started going, thank you. See, so it ain't that you look sick. You're healthier, but they don't want to be left behind. I'm going to tell y'all something, and, and, and you might have to meditate on this, and it's the truth. I've watched it. I've watched it. You have relationship, and you have a certain power dynamic with that person, friend, or peer. There's a power dynamic that has been established. When you start losing weight and you feel more confident, they feel the balance of power shifting. It's just a fact that people want you to do good. Some people don't want you to do good, but most people want you to do good, but not as good as them. And if they're ever threatened that you're doing better, you'll start seeing and hearing those kind of comments play out. You cannot pay it any attention. 
pay them no mind. Surround yourself with people that want to get in the chariot and ride with you. That's a scripture. They want to be a part of your success. They feel like your success is their success. And those kind of people are few and far between. But we should all surround ourselves as much as we can with people like me. Travis, that sounded arrogant. No, I'm telling you, with all my faults, I'm one of those people that the better you do, the better I feel. You could have more money than me. You could have more help than me. You could have a better body than me. It makes me so happy because I'm happy. The only way I would criticize you is if I was a very unhappy person or if I seen life as it was finite, that she's having love and she's having help and she's having, therefore I can't have it. A lot of people that tell you you look sick, they approach life like a pie. And if you get a piece of the pie that they don't have better help, then they feel like they're missing out on something. So they've got to stop you from getting another piece of that pie. I don't look at life like a pie. I look at it like, wow, you know, whatever you do, I can do too. You know, so don't let them get to you like that. Planet Fitness, awesome. I love Planet Fitness. Yeah, mentor appointment will always help if you get down and out. JC, I've been on Shibola for about three years now. My first six months, I lost 55 pounds. Then after I got complacent, started at 220, got to 163. I do so good on challenges, then not on regular Shibola. I've been maintaining for three years now around 170, 180 but praying these challenges uh, get me to my goal. So that's good. We don't abandon what's working because the challenges are working, but we want to get better at regular Shibola because that's our lifestyle. That's our lifestyle. But good job. You've done good. Lindsay, you are too. Thank you. Says her swelling in the ankles have gone down dramatically on three days. That's so good to hear. Bless the name of the Lord. Let's touch and, let's touch and agree for more help. And let's say, bless the name of the Lord. Katie, for optimal results, is it better for lunch to be your biggest meal or dinner? So far, I've been fasting breakfast, a shake for lunch, and then my one and two or seven and two for dinner. Should I switch lunch and dinner? That's, I'm going to answer that two ways. From a purely optimization standpoint, it is best to have your, your, larger eating episode earlier in the day and your smallest eating episode late in the day, trying not to eat after sunset. But if you're like me, anytime I do that, I have to know me. I have to know me. I would have challenged myself. I challenged myself yesterday. I ate my largest, uh, no, it wasn't yesterday. It was another day, day before it's running together. But one day, last couple of days, I challenged myself to eat a normal dinner early and then stop eating at like four o'clock. And uh, it drove me nuts. So my my point is I got to know myself. You got to know yourself. As long as you're not going over an approved three eating episodes, you're going to get optimal results. Now you can get better results or better than optimal, better, better, better. We can always find something better. We can always find a better food, a better portion, a better time. We can always do that. But what if it's not enjoyable? So if if you know yourself and you know in the evening, if like if you had your one one and two or seven and two early for the detox, and you're just going, let's say that give you a real case study. Example, you had your chicken and green beans during the detox at 1 p.m. And then at 7 p.m. at home, dinner's served, but you choose to have two packages of health-wise high-protein soup only. That's optimal. That's optimal. You're going to blow towards some fat. But me, I start looking at what everybody else is eating. And if Sasha's having biscuits or having spaghetti or something I really love, I'm going to go on and do it again. So just be careful and know yourself. But if you're, if you're saying, I'm super disciplined, I'll do whatever you tell me is best, it would be best to, to have your a really light, light eating episode in the evening. Oh, thank you, Tammy. She looks amazing. <laughs> hey, Betty, you and God gave us the plan to lose extra pounds just before we turned six. We've been able to do so many things I know we could never have done, including running a full marathon, hiking down the Grand Canyon. I want to do that one day, Lord willing. And we did it down it and up it and hiking many miles on the Appalachian Trail. If we can do it, anyone can do it with God's help. Amen. Yeah, I know. 
right, Kimberly? People just, they want to socialize around food all the time. Tell Lamar I said hello. Mia Mays, um, ding, 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 everybody. Mia Mays says, hey, everyone. I would like to get some friends on Planet Shibboleth. Would anyone be my friend? I bet we have some people that'll be your friend. Do know that you could do that on Facebook, but you can also do that in the Shibboleth website. You can friend one another. So, and I know life gets in the way and y'all will get busy. A lot of y'all will friend Mia, be friends with Mia, uh, but you may forget after class, write that down. When somebody asks for friendship, uh, look, I'm gonna write it down right now. I, I don't know if she'll be my friend, but I'll be her friend. Mia Mays, if you don't want my mine on you, it's okay. But yeah, me amaze everybody. I seen a person the other day uh, said, you've lost a ton of weight. The environment I was in, I felt obligated to say I'm not on drugs. <laughs> I've, I've been accused of being on drugs. I immediately felt guilty because she said, oh, I wasn't saying that. I was just wondering what you were doing to lose weight. Then I said, I changed my eating lifestyle. She immediately knew it was Shibola. Good to hear. I, I've been in those situations too. Always some light humor. Good job, Jennifer. Kristen Glover. Oh, you you were Jeep girl. Won our t-shirt. Mia Mays. Let's find Mia some friends. Debbie Hamby. She I don't know of a better person to have in your in your court than Debbie Hamby. Uh, she can't see that though, Debbie. Uh, she only I can see that. If you can set that to everyone. She can find you. Uh, if you rechat that, everyone, uh, she can't see your post because it, it's only set so that the host can see it. Debbie Hamby. Same thing for Cher Teresa. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Teresa Hoskins. She can't see that, Teresa, because it says uh, to host. If you set it to everyone, she can see it. Teresa Hoskins. Maybe she's writing it down. Suggestions for Thanksgiving recipes. Uh, although it'll be a holiday, not a hog trough day. Well, I like the Shibboleth dressing recipe. Uh, I like the cranberry sauce recipe. Uh, I like the deviled egg recipe. Turkey's always fine, of course. Um, green bean recipe. Um, I love the uh, macaroni and cheese recipe. So hope that helps. Those are traditional Thanksgiving foods that are, and they're all Shibboleth approved. So uh, usually on Thanksgiving, I eat Shibboleth approved foods. I just eat too much. So it's a holiday, but I don't jack my blood sugar up like I would if I wasn't eating approved food, but you don't have to, you have holidays too to enjoy. Mia is on Facebook, everyone. Are you in Memphis? Um, I'm assuming Heather's asking somebody else. That you're not asking me, right, Heather? You don't have to answer me unless you are asking me. Yeah, you, Georgia. She's in Georgia. I'm just catching a private question. Uh, can I just order the shake you drink and use it during this? Yes. Uh, I use two shakes. I, uh, for the last year, I've only used two different ones. I use Beverly UMP, Beverly UMP, or I use Advocare Meal Replace. And I just use that in place of an eat, a regular eating episode. Patty, oh, sorry, that was private. My daughter and I live Shibola with her hubby, Keto. We are trying to find Thanksgiving recipes, suggestions, those that I mentioned. I hope those help. Hope those help. Double check Facebook. Okay, uh, I was asked to go over bee pollen thorn fiber. It is 1223. I have time. I don't have a meeting until one, but I don't want to wear on y'all. Had y'all rather me save this topic? Because I don't even know if the person that asked is here. Did y'all rather me save the topic until Monday or would you rather me go over it now? It's up to y'all. Please save it. Okay. I'm going to save it and we'll go over it later. If something else don't come up before Monday, it wasn't that big, big of a deal. I was asked to go over bee pollen, thorn fiber, and amino acids uh, in our new vitamin. But we'll, we'll wait and do that Monday. We did get it in. Here is the awesome vitamin. Isn't that beautiful? That's pretty, isn't it? The awesome vitamin is in. Limited quantity, though. Supply chain issues are a huge deal. Any final questions before we go today? Please don't forget to share. Use our share feature to share Shibola. We need y'all so bad. And I know because I've been in this for so long and I had a failed attempt at this many years ago. I've sacrificed a lot to do this and that's not bragging. I'm just being telling you the facts. Uh, sacrificed too much 
when it, if you get right down to it. And I know when I had those weight loss centers and I couldn't keep them open because nobody was, statistically speaking, hardly anybody came. People hated me after I closed those centers. A lot of people hated my guts and um, they weren't coming. So again, I'm pleading, I'm asking, please share from the share feature and let people know about us so that Sasha and I can keep being here. We don't want to let anybody down, uh, but we need you. This has to be a joint effort. Uh, so I really appreciate you praying about that. And if, if God gives you unction, sharing our stuff through the share feature. I don't want y'all to hate me too. All right, y'all. Thank you so much. We love you. We'll be in touch. I got a lot to work on for you. One day challenges, three day challenges, walking challenges. Uh, we, we're not going to leave any any stone unturned. Talk to y'all later. Bye, Sheila. Bye, everybody.